The standard treatment for radiation after a woman has undergone what we call partial mastectomy or lumpectomy, whereas a woman has breast conservation surgery, that standard has typically been for five to six weeks of radiation therapy delivered Monday through Friday for about 20 to 30 minutes each time. And of course, this has to be done at an institution that has radiation available. Now, as you can imagine, someone that lives in a rural community would have a very difficult time getting into a city or an area where they could get their radiation treatments. Even in a city like San Francisco, treating patients at a county hospital, I come into meetings with patients d that do not want to have lumpectomy because they actually have to take a bus or a taxi only three or four miles to get their lumpectomy followed by radiation. They would rather have a mastectomy and forego the five to six weeks of radiation therapy. These women are women that have five or six children, they work full time, and they can't take the time out. We're talking five, six, sometimes seven weeks. Take that time out of their life, their schedule, to undergo this radiation therapy. We're currently taking part in an international trial for intraoperative radiation therapy. The trial is actually called TARGET, where we actually target the radiation to within the lumpectomy cavity. As a surgeon, the radiation discussion takes place in my clinic before surgery ever takes place at all. So we do discuss radiation therapy to be delivered after surgery, for example, as the standard of care. However, because we're in the operating room and we have the first-hand knowledge of what the tumor looks like and what it's like when we remove it, we feel that we have the best access to deliver the best type of radiation at that time of surgery. So instead of delivering radiation externally and hoping to get the right area within the breast, during surgery we have the breast and the lumpectomy site available to definitely get the best type of treatment in delivered at that time. For our intraoperative radiation trial, we're specifically looking at patients with small early breast cancers. So for example, it would have to be a patient that can actually undergo a lumpectomy because of the size of the tumor. We're also specifically looking at patients with what we would call better characteristics with regarding their tumor. So these are patients that have a, a lower risk of local recurrence, and we feel that these are the optimal patients to start with this clinical trial. So for example, a woman age 45 or older that would have a small breast tumor within the breast itself, and at this time what we would call early breast cancer. These patients are the best candidates for this type of radiation treatment.